homegrown's all right with me. Homegrown is the way it should be. Homegrown is a good thing. Plant that bell and let it ring. Sun comes up in the morning, shines that light around. One thing without no warning, things start jumping up from the ground. But homegrown's alright with me. Homegrown is the way it should be. Homegrown is the way it should be. Homegrown is a good thing. Plant that bell and let it ring. Homegrown's all right with me. Homegrown is the way it should be. Homegrown is a good thing. Plant that bell and let it ring. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another Tequila Whisper crazy show. Wait a minute. What do I hear? I hear the agaves. They're talking to me. They're whispering their luscious juice knowledge. They are going to help me tonight because we have got a very special show planned for you, people. And we zoom in. In. <laughs> now listen, people. Got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. Got a lot of ground. We got a special show. The Lips Manhood. My Quixote is on the line. When they say my Quixote's on the line. Yes, they do. Now we've got a blind tasting tonight. Four different brands, people. Or are they? They're four different minis supplied by the mighty Gabe X. And I see little Gabe. Oh, yeah, I see Blanco Suave's in the house. Gabe X, right on. Oh, 77 likes my background. You know, I painted this 77 right after I got back from uh, La Altania. This is my impression of, um, of, of what the ground there looked like. You know, like that beautiful rusty red with the... Uh, the beautiful pinkas coming out. So you might know that at the tone of gold. All right, now let's get right to it here. Here's how tonight is going to work because I know you're, you're all biting your nails. Your nails are down to the nub. The lips got some nubs himself. Now, what's happening is I hope that you've all gone over to the cheater. The cheater, uh, the cheater link, and found out this is this is a little different. This is more like to tell the truth tonight, because you all are the audience, and you are going to know exactly what the lip is tasting, but the lip is not going to know. So there's an element of audience participation in here, because the lip, even though I don't anticipate needing your help, I am going to need your uh, undivided attention. Now, here's the way this works: is Gabe. Uh, gave me four minis to try, but he did call out the age of the minis. So that sets up like a little extra complication here, but it's cool, Gabe. You didn't do anything wrong, you know, don't get all freaky on me. So what I have here is I've numbered my glasses. Now I know we've all been drinking, but follow me on this. I've numbered the glasses from one to four. I don't know what has been poured in any of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to commit to the age of every one of those four. And then I had my wife who poured them for me. I'm going to read the key. So we'll know what is what. At that point, I will guess the brand because that's where you guys will come in. 
because you're not going to know. You know, you don't know what was poured here. Everybody makes sense? Somebody write to me and go, Lip, we completely understand. Or somebody write to me and go, Lip, you are completely insane. Don't do it. Don't do it, Lip. Don't you drink tequila. No, 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 no. All right. Juan Kilo's got it. Now everybody understands. You guys are so great. That's why I love you. Because you're drinking a lot less than me. Now listen. Please. Don't you break my heart. Please. All right. All right. So here we go. Well, you know, what's everybody <laughs> What's everybody here drinking, by the way? Uh, you guys are great. Uh Oh, who likes my vibrato? That was that was Gabe. My fun, please. Oh, no, I just fucked it up. So please. No, that's very Chrissy Hine. See, I was better when I wasn't when I wasn't being so self-conscious. That's why I completely blow it in, you know, American Idol. I was up for American Idol three, four, five times. You know, every time I go up there, I blow my vibrato. All right. Hey, and that's uh, keep it clean though. Okay. All right. Now, where were we here? Don't force it, baby, please. Don't do it. Don't you break my heart. Okay. Now, I'm gonna. And I've, I've had. I've had these uh, hermetically sealed. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. All right. Now let me let me just open them all up here. Oh, thanks, Gaby, baby. Okay, El Tesoro with Eskinosi chocolate. Very nice. Grand Centenario Green Label. Sweet 77. What else? We oh, yeah. With Siembra Azul and Heredura. I have got to get this Siembra Azul. It's, I, I've just been falling down to the job. That's my fault. Uh, because I could get it in California. I mean, it is sold online. So you notice I'm not even smelling this. Although I just got a whiff of something on number two. Arr. Zen Runner, my feet is crapping out. Zen Runner, no. Oh, BL's drinking Ray Soul and Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Um, hey, Pedro, tell me again, which Herador are you drinking, Pedro? Is it Repo? Ah, oh, Ray's drinking Dantanio. Ray, you crazy buck. Please don't do it. Don't you break my heart. All right. Ow! Okay. Uh, uh, Pedro is drinking the Blanco Fuerte, of course, right? Hey, Rasta, showing up in the house. All right, Rasta, somebody explain the rules to Rasta because I can't go through it again. Rasta, have you checked the cheater link? All right, now, the first thing Lip's going to do, I'm going to go down the line. Hmm, no. First thing I gotta do is find the Blanco. Now that's gonna be, that's like my little, come on, that's my ace in the hole, right? All right. Uh, man, I'd I just wanna read the chat with you guys. You guys are having a lot of fun tonight, all right. Somebody's an orthopedic surgeon who works in Philly and is getting Siembra Azul and bringing it back to the lip. And all roads lead to the lip. All right, first thing you gotta do is, is pick this Blanco. Now luckily I've got a white I've got like a white screen on my computer. So I can see that these are very pale, Gabe. These are very pale. You are making it hard on the lip. You're really bugging me. Let me mix up the sample. All right. All right. So hold on. Oh, no. That one is the darkest one. You know what I ought to do? Is I ought to put them in line of, <laughs> of light to dark. And that's, that's the darkest for sure. Oh, these two though, man. All right, I guess it's like this. I'll deal with the taste in a minute. All right, so the lip is calling number three. The lip is calling number three his Blanco. All right, that's pretty easy. Let me get a sniff here. Ah, uh, Gabe. I know this smell, Gabe. No, oh, this is killer. See, I think I know this smell, but I think you're going to screw with me. All right. Mmm, okay. Mm. 
Uh oh. No, I'm not in trouble yet. Oh, well, let me just say that I love every one of these. <laughs> I love everything I'm smelling. And now I'm just going to say, can I put this out here? I don't want you guys to say anything. Please, don't, don't, don't give me any hints until I ask for some, okay? Um, now. All right. This is tonight's tonight's mix is going to lean a little heavily toward Neil Young because I'm in a kind of in a Neil Young mood. No, let me taste this Blanco and think about how it's affecting me. Oh man! Oh. Oh, it's completely, it's Chinaco uh, Teardrop. Knowing that I need you to save me. Now you guys are saying like, what are you tasting? Like? All right, hold on, I got to turn this music down. As much as I would love to, to be blasting this. All right, I mean, I got some serious work to do here. I'm not screwing up. All right, there's a lot of floral spice. This Blanco is absolutely Highlands, okay? Who are we kidding here? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here, okay? Because because we're all friends, right? Um, this Highlands, and don't you guys say anything yet? I'm serious. Just you I mean you could talk, but don't 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 intimate. But I'm saying to you because I have to be able to tell you what I'm tasting. All right, this is what's going on in my mind right now. I'm feeling that this is like, you know, come on. This is, this is La Altania. This is 1139. Or is it? <laughs> um, luckily, they only make two brands. Or is it like Charbet? Or is it Ocho, right? Uh, see, that's screwing me up now. Now I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting some, some bad, um, uh, <laughs> no, this isn't Chinaco. I was kidding. This is not Chinaco. No way. There's no no way. This is floral. This is this is uh, Carlos Camarena, and um, it's it, it's either uh, Ocho, Charbet. I don't think it's Charbet. Um, uh, Tapatio or uh, El Tesoro. <laughs> don't overthink it, Lip. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. See, I went like, wait a minute. What else do they make? All right, hold on. It's Trago. You're totally screwing with me. Let me say a couple of things. This is an excellent Blanco. I love it. I want to drink it. I don't think it's white label. I don't think it's a El Tesoro white label. Um, it's possible that it's El Tesoro. I will come back to that. I don't want to. I don't want to wreck my palate all on the first uh, Jacko. So uh, I'm checking out the finish. It's very nice. It's got spice. It's got a lot of floral um, essence coming on in the front. And uh, it is super smooth. There's like no heat. And usually, um, yeah, it, it, I was going to ask you guys, is it more fun knowing? All right, hold on a minute. Uh, you, there was a question here. Uh, Lip, yo, Lip, would you be willing to give a score to each of the tequilas you're drinking? Um, yeah, Gabe. Hey, that would be really cool. That would be great. Rasta, I'm glad you like the new backdrop. I'm going to have a lot of new backdrops lately. Um, that's cool, Gabe. You're great. Um, all right, hold on. All right, so it's more fun knowing. I know this is so. This is so great. We should just do this all the time. It's because that's exactly right. That's like why. That's the way they did to tell the truth, right? The audience always knew. All right. Hold on. A minute. I gotta cover up my big puss. All right. Um, so, uh, rating it with a number, Gabe G. I don't know. I mean, I, I, that's like a whole separate. That, that adds a, like a lot of stuff onto this. Um, uh, let me worry about that toward the end. Okay, let me worry about the rating. But I'll tell you right now, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it doesn't feel like it has quite the body, quite the the interest that a like an El Tesoro white label has. And it, you know, and if it is, you know, I'm willing to, you know, to be shown the truth here. But it might be an off, uh, it might be an off batch or something. You know, not the best batch. 
Because I just don't, it doesn't fit, it doesn't have that, that, that white label like, oh my god, I could drink this all night, every night, forever, and you know how that is. Yeah. But it's good. I mean, I, I could drink that all night, every night, but. All right, I'm overthinking it. I, I'm already covering my ass. You guys, you're getting to me. Whoa, all right, now hold on. Now something has, okay, something has happened in number two here. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that's the same juice. Number two, I think is a different, a different juice from number one, from the Blanco. What about three? Oh man, that number three. I'm getting a lot of ketchup. Oh man, I feel like that. I wonder if that's Ocho. I'm getting, because I'm getting like a lot of acid. Oh, uh, I'm getting a lot more wood on number one. I guess that's the Añejo. Okay, for sure. Number My number four is the XA, I'm calling it. Uh, and again, you know, I will go through the key and make sure I'm right or wrong at that point. Um, now, so really, it's between number two and number one for me to decide which is the Repo, which is the Añejo. This is my number two. Because I put them in order. I'm at, I, Just by smell, I thought my number two was a Repo. And again, if you're keeping track at home, I thought my number three labeled glass is the Blanco. All right, here we go. Hmm. Wow. Is number, okay, well, first of all, having tasted it, let me kind of quickly taste the next one to see which one has more oak. You know, it's really weird. It could be, Gabe could be screwing with me and it could be a light Añejo. And this brand could be the Repo that has more oak in it. But hey, hold on. All right, so this is my number one labeled glass. Well, number one completely has more oak. No question. Heavier oak presence. Um, and I don't think I like it as much. That oak is not exactly... Um, it's not exactly uh, integrated as well as I would like. You guys hear Dylan? I'll turn that up a little bit. This is good. Man. But the finish on that number one finish is quite long lasting. Man, interesting. Oh, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Now, I want to go right to what I think is the XA. Okay. Well, it's got more oak in it. I mean, is it an XA? I mean, you know, my gut tells me, yeah, I mean, it's got more oak. It's darker. But was like, was, was number one like Sentinella three year? Is Gabe screwing with me here? It's heavy, heavy. Hold on. The lip needs a, needs a washout. Gabe, I'm going to wipe the floor with you, man. There's no way you're going to beat the lip. The lip has the palate of of the gods. I don't feel like this is Sentinella. I don't. No. I think it's actually uh, like uh, I think it's sweeter and smoother than Sentinella. So this is what I'm considering the Añejo. Let me try that number two one more time. I'm pretty sure number two is a Repo. I'm pretty sure. How you guys doing? How do you think I'm doing? Are you laughing? Are you giggling? I see you're very quiet. Are you afraid to say anything because you don't want to screw up the lip? Uh, you know, talk to me, baby. I need your feedback, but just don't tell me. Don't give me that kind of feedback yet. Hey, 
we've got a bunch of guests. Guests, sign in. Join the fun. Learn the rules. Oh man, there's a lot of caramel in that number two. I guess, you know, the, this number two, I wonder if, well, I do know that Gabe, you know, I gotta, I gotta trust you, at least in what you said. So I, I'm trusting that there is indeed a Blanco, Repo, and Añejo. This, this Repo, Añejo, uh, they're very, they don't taste the same, but they are similar in their oak presence. Um, it feels like the Añejo is a very light Añejo, and the, but the Repo, excuse me, it doesn't feel like a heavy, heavy wooded Repo. Hold on. The lip, I'm taking a break here for a second. Woo. Everybody. All right. Uh, so what are you guys talking about? Hey, Frank. Frank showed up. Oh, everybody. Frank Toro is with Don Modesto. You know, and I mentioned Don Modesto earlier. Frank, it's great that you showed up. You know, I'm a real big fan of your tequila, Frank, and um, I'm turning everyone on to it. Hopefully you guys have seen my Don Modesto show. Uh, Frank, you're in uh, California and Florida and Illinois. Uh, we have some good friends from Illinois. We've got a, a bunch of people here from Florida. Uh, talk to Frank. Tell, Ask him where, where your juice is because you got to taste this. Rasta, is, um, is Don Modesto in Texas yet? And totally, I bet it's not a hundred armies. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so you guys can talk about that. So hit up Frank for uh, for uh, 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 some information of where you can get his juice, and hit him up for some t-shirts too. <laughs> Frank, I'm gonna completely bankrupt your t-shirt budget. These guys are your your ambassadors. When these guys taste your juice, uh, they're going to be uh, they're going to get the religion. All right. Oh, here. So uh, that's terrible. Zen Runner wants to watch. I'm really sorry, Zen Runner. Hey, Zen Runner, just in case you missed it, Frank Toro from Don Modesto is online. Talk to him about uh, where, because we were just talking about it, that, that you don't have it in Fort Myers. All right. There you go. The lip is now, now what is the lip going to do? I think the first thing, look, I got the first thing I got to do is I got to call out the ages. All right. All right. This Fina Estampa. Uh, Rasta's drinking Fina. Boy, something's opening up here in what I was calling, number one, what I was calling the Añejo. All right. Gabe, I'm getting lost in the weeds here, Gabe. If you were here beside me, you would center me. Man, I'm going to tell you something. That number four, the XA... I am digging it. Well, here's what's screwing me up. Gabe said that these were all related. At one point, he said they were related. Now, what that could mean is, or that there is a relationship to them. So it could be that they're all highlands because they could easily all be highlands. They all have kind of a, a very floral, herbaceous, herby uh, spice going on with them. Every one of them is exciting and interesting. Um, could any of them be um, like Oro Azul? They could be. <laughs> is that what number three is? Yeah, man. And number three now. Somebody was mentioning Oro Azul. Now it's, it's suddenly my Blanco smells like Oro Azul after I, after I completely uh, called it as, uh, <laughs> as. Oh, this is good. This is absolutely a Carlos Camarena product. Oh man, I'm completely lost here. I don't want to admit this, but you're seeing me at my nadir. You're seeing me at my at my confusion. This is a lot harder than you think. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. See, I know it's more fun because I keep saying stuff about it like, oh, this is absolutely shitty. And, you know, it's going to be something that I, I'd say I love. Look, every one of these blanc, every one of these tequilas I love. Okay, I'm gonna start that out right now. And yes, I feel like I've tasted every one of them. They, 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 they are not new to me. There's nothing here. Although I think maybe the only one that it, that I I'm not completely 
uh, getting a familiar taste profile is this XA. It's, um, uh, what's Gabe say? No lies. I won't lie, buddy. All right, hold on. It's, <laughs> it's enjoyable watching your mind come out of your mouth. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's an issue. Right, wait a minute. Am I getting the newest chat? Oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I was like watching chat from 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, you guys are talking about um, uh, Tequila Girl. It has, has some streaming trouble. People are having trouble. Uh, I got to say, I don't think it's me. I'm happy to say. Uh, geez, here's what I would do is, uh, unfortunately, I would, I would go back out and try to log back in. Sorry you guys are having trouble. Let me know, uh, because uh, if it's really that bad, um, I'll, I'll switch uh, streams. You guys are my people. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm glad. Everybody's talking to Frank. All right. And then Rost is laughing. All right. All right. So where are we down here? Your stream has settled down. It started rocky. It's good now. Thanks, Juan Kilo. All right. All right. Frank is talking about his, maybe his brand, uh, Frank, I'm a big fan of your Añejo. Uh, and Paul, Paul's got a good, solid stream. Paul, I know that about you. Uh, you just had your prostate checked, right? <laughs> All right, hold on, people. Yeah, reload the page. You reload the page or re-sign in. At the very least, reload the page. All right. Frank, my wife and I live. All right, here we go. Now look. Oh, Tequila Girl's reloaded. Damn. All right. Sorry about that, Tequila Girl. Now, where am I? Okay, the lip has got to commit. I mean, come on. We, we got a show to do here. Now, I'm going to commit to number three being a Blanco. That's pretty easily. You know, I'm still going to say this is El Tesoro. Or, uh, okay, I, did, I didn't commit, actually. I didn't commit to the brand, but that's 1139. I don't think it's Oro Azul. I don't. I feel like after coming out of here and having my own, you know, timeout, that was a nice little timeout for me. All right. I didn't commit. I didn't commit. I mean, I almost committed. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, ooh, oh, fudge. Hold on, hold on. I just spilled, like, a lot of juice on my keyboard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mommy. Well, I hope it'll be all right. Am I still am I still streaming? <laughs> Fudge! I'm trying to keep it PG. I'm getting some heat to, to tone down my act. The FCC is knocking on my door. All right. Whatever. There we go. All right. It's like I got a little stain. All right. Now look. Come on, you guys. All right. Here we go. Lick the keyboard. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm going to commit to the ages. I, I'm ready to do that. Let's let's do that. Let's do this thing. Okay, Lip says that now my wife, okay, she, the, way, the way she wrote it, I think, is she went like Blanco, Repo, and Yer. So the Blanco, I am calling as number three. Now that's what I've been drinking all night. Okay, everybody ready for this? All right. I said the Blanco was number three. She, she said... Oh, fuck. She did it wrong. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But I'm still, I'm correct. All right. She, God bless her. Now, come on. Maybe I told her to do it this way. You know, I don't. We get, we get our communications mixed up a little bit. All right. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. So, uh, <laughs> hold on. I said that number one was, let me write this down because now it's not going to be as easy. Okay. All right. Now, now, what Mrs. Lippy did was she went in numerical order. She didn't go, and you know, she didn't know. She didn't go through through age order, which is something you know a, a tequila drinker would do. All right. So, number one. Okay. So she said, you know, just so you guys are following along, if you, if you just so you know, I'm not cheating. I said number three was Blanco. Number two was Repo. Number one was Añejo, and number four was XA. Okay, everybody with me? Got it. Now, okay, turns out that number one is an Añejo. Bing, 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 bing. The lip, the lip got it right. Here, let's put a little, uh, let's get a little music going here. All right. So, 
Lip got the Añejo right. This music is uh, is not right for this mood. All right. Now, this is what I'm talking about. All right, so so far, Lip is, is one out of eight. <laughs> okay. Now, number two, I called as a repo. Here we go. Bye, Tequila Girl. I'm sorry you got to go. All right. What a drag. Big drag. Sorry, honey. All right. Lip said number two is a repo. Number two is a repo. Now, you know the rest are right because obviously I got the Blanco. That means I got the XA. So she's saying the three is a Blanco and I called it. And the four is the XA. All right. Now, that, I'll tell you, that, that repo and Añejo, that wasn't as easy as you might think. All right. All right. Good job, Lippy. Now the hard part. All right, you guys. Now you're going to get on my butt. All right. Now. Now comes the hard part. Now. I got a job to do here. Everybody knows I got a job to do. And I am the tequila revealer. Now, how do you guys want to do this? I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Because I'm actually really dying to know. Should I, I mean, for myself, should, should we do each brand individually? And then, uh, and then I reveal it and you tell me? Or should we wait till it's like all four, like I commit to all four of them? What do you want to do? Yeah, Gabe says one at a time. And Ray says do all four. Should we give you any hints after your first guess? All right, so you guys, I can't fool you guys. You're all going like do all four because if I do one at a time, you're gonna, it's gonna help me, right? All right, so hints. I don't need no stinking hints. I do need some hints. All right. Oh, so Gabe said, uh, Gabe said one at a time. Pancho Villa! Hola, Pancho. All right. Uh, yeah, these commercials are cutting in. I'm telling you, we'll, we'll talk about this uh, throughout the week on Facebook. Maybe we should move back over to, uh, to live stream because, um, you know, I, I had a, I had a commercial in the beginning of the show that really fucking bugged me and it was, it was an audio. All right. Uh, okay, I only got one commercial. All right, well, that's nice. Good for you. All right, so, all right, so why, I, I'm, I'm not getting, hmm, I'm not getting a consensus. Some people said four. Actually, I think a, more than one person said uh, one at a time. I'm cool either way. All right, let's do it this way. Let's do one at a time, and if I don't get it, you guys will give me hints, okay? Fair enough? Let's do it that way. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, 77 says, what would be harder? Shut up, 77. Man, I have completely had this a lot. I've had this ketchup. It's a ketchup smell. Hey, Pancho, uh, I'm doing blind tastings of four Gabe supplied minis. I'm on the first one. This is the Blanco. I have to choose the brand now. I got four out of four so far. What is this? Pure Sangre? Okay, I'm ready to commit to my Blanco. Um, I think. Uh, I was really close to committing. All right. You know, my, you know what my gut says? My gut actually tells me it's not what I was about to say. Man, I've smelled that ketchup. 
All right, here we go. I'm going to commit that this is El Tesoro olive oil. I say this is an El Tesoro olive oil Highlands Blanco. First thing, tell me if I'm right or wrong. If I'm wrong, don't tell me which one it is yet. Ah! I'm wrong. Ah, it's more familiar than you're thinking. What is it, city legs? Ah, ah, this sucks. All right. Is it Highlands? Is it Highlands? Come on. Yes, it's Highlands. There's no way. This is, what is this? It's like Sierra Legs and it's right behind me. No way. No way. It's not Sierra Legs. No way. I knew it wasn't. All right. Um, the Peñas point the way. It is not Sierra Legs. That does not taste like the Sierra Legs I have. Uh, is that what? Are you telling me this is like Sierra Legs? Honest to God, it does not taste like this. Wait. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Oh, the pinkas don't point the way? All right. All right. Yeah, I, that's not Cedar Lake West. All right. Let me try. Let me ask this. So, sorry. Obviously, I, I, I made my guess, so I, I missed. Is this is this an 1139 product? It's not 1139. Oh, it's a Highlands. It's nobody telling me it's like some Mexican bottling of this Seattle eggs or something. Ah, oh, this is killing me. This is killing me. This really, <laughs> this is a Carlos Camarena product. I said so. Give him the sugar cubes. All right, I give up. What is it? What is it? Is, I think it's like a Mexican Seattle eggs. I'm just gathering that from what you guys are talking about. What is it? Look at the name, Lippy. Look at the name. What name? It's Mexican Siena Legs Blanco? Unbelievable. Oh, man. I, I got to tell you something. It's really good. and But it does not. No way does it taste like this. No way. This is a whole lot sweeter. Now, what does that mean? I mean, is it sweeter because it was, um, is it manipulated? Oh, man. Interesting. Now, Gabe says it's inferior. So Gabe, let me ask you this, Gabe. What's the um, what's the proof on it? What's the proof on Mexican? Is it forty percent? I bet it is. Uh, which has overall more flavor? Interesting. Oh, it's thirty-eight. Check that out, Gabe. Check that on the bottle, because you know I found out recently, and you guys may know this, but this is recently. It's it's my new knowledge that um, you don't have to sell something at thirty-eight percent in Mexico. It's simply uh, what the taste market has traditionally preferred. But it, it's not like if you have something 40%, you can't sell it in Mexico. All right, hold on. Agree, Gabe. When in Cozumel, I tasted them side by side. Wow. All right, side by side. I'm sorry I don't have an extra Riedel here. I do, but I'm, I'm not going to get up and get it. So just everybody chill out. All right, there is a Highlands floral in that Mexican bottle that I am digging very much. I said it didn't have the girth of a normal um, El Tesoro, which is what threw me off. It also doesn't have the heat now that I, I really see it. Um, uh, but uh, what, where am I going here? So, But it's giving me that floral that I really do not get in a basic U.S. Uh, Siete Leguas. This is Gabe. What a great choice. Really. Kudos to you, buddy boy. Well, 
I will say this. Um, this American Sierra Legs, I don't want to drink too much of it because I'm going to screw my palate up. Um, that is its own wonderful thing. It really is. And it is a little mustier. It's it when you say which has more flavor, that's not a fair uh, comparison to me. The the Mexican Siete Legs is uh, it's not as full and rich in the mouth, and that could also be the the lower alcohol content. If that's what you're telling me, uh, uh, <laughs> drinking right out of the bottle. I know, dude. You know, go with me on this one. Oh man, yeah. Okay. Ooh. That smells like tussy. That's a that's a whole new bottle you guys haven't even seen. I wanted to bring that in. That's a brand I'm going to be tasting on a future show. Sometimes I like to mix up my brands in my tasting to you know kind of keep myself together. Did you guys see the Scarlet and Grover? Uh, which glass is the best for tasting? It's it's a great piece, and I'm really thinking about it. Whether Riedels are absolutely the way to go. All right. Sorry. Uh, all right. So I I blew that one. Uh, I said it was Tapatio. It was um, Sierra Leguas Mex. Very good, Gabe. I hate you. Now, let me wash my mouth out. Austin says it reminds him of fish. Who does fish remind you of? Maybe the man, yeah, maybe the man. This is actually a Jerry Garcia band. This is Shoreline Amphitheater, 1990. That case I don't want no part. I do believe it. My heart. All right, so this is interesting because Gabe said these were all related. What are these all Mexican brands, Gabe? I'm into the Repo now. There's a lot of wood. I mean, this is Cuervo wood. This is like Cuervo and Yeho. All tequilas are Mexican. What's D-E-R mean? Mexican derivative? Mexican... Uh... No shit. Are they really? That's so cool. Are they really? Gabe, this is so cool. Gabe. You're all right, Gabe. I don't care what they say about you, Gabe. All right. So I'm now I'm tasting a Mexican. But, well, you know, when you say Mexican, as I said, I guess that doesn't mean 38% necessarily. It just means Mexican bottling, whatever. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to say that number two is a Highlands tequila. Am I right? Is number two is the Repo Highlands? Yes! The lip is on top of his shit. All right, hold on. So it's a Repo. It's a Highlands Repo. Well, you know, I'd almost say Centinella, but I don't think there's any difference between Mexican. How are you finding all these Mexican bottlings, Gabe? All right. All right, hold on. You know I love my Highlands. Somehow they just, they speak to my inner, my inner man. LaRubis! People, you got to fill in the rube because uh, I'm busy here trying. Larubus, I have uh, just, I've guessed 
All ages in one brand. I've got three brands to go. Uh, I screwed up on the brand. Nice. Got a big crowd tonight. Everybody wants to see the lip succeed. All right, I'm on to the repo here. Hey, Lippy is not gonna. You, I wiped the floor with you, Gabe. I was the guy who said they were all Highlands. They were all Mexican bottlings. I think I said that. All right. Use the force, Lip. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and Larubus just got his organic recertification. Nice. All right. Now here's what's screwing me up. That it's a Mexican bottling. Um. Oh man, every one of these are just excellent tequilas. Gabe. Oh, you didn't say they're all at Mexican bottling. Wait a minute, see this is screwing me up. Gabe, I, I, really, I, I don't mean to, I'm not, really, I'm not using it as a crutch. But that was screwing me up because I was thinking like Centinella, like Fina Estampa, like these Highlands brands. But what, what's with the Mexican bottle? So you didn't say they were Mexican. They're all Mexican tequilas. What does that mean? Come on, Gabe. Does that mean you got them in Mexico? Nah, it really did confuse me. I sent you a tab. Yeah, so just tell me. If it means you got them in Mexico and you don't want to give that away, like that's part of it. The truth is I didn't remember that you got Sierra Legua, so don't worry about giving that part away. They were made... Well, they're all made in Mexico, dude. Come on, shut up. Unless it's, you know, Charbet. Well, that's made in Mexico. Unless it's, uh, you know, unless it's... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop screwing me up. Oh, you mean so they're not all Mexican? So these other people were saying that. All right, all right. You guys are really bugging me. Come on, I take you guys really seriously, and you're... Finding my, I'm, I'm finding my center. Here's a Highlands Repo. I've probably tasted it before. What is it, Lip? It's sweet. It's got a lot of oak, especially coming off of this Blanco, which has a, kind of a, a beautiful, uh, I won't call it bitter, but it's got a really cooked agave. It's what it is. It's got an incredible amount of floral agave. And over here, I mean, the introduction of wood is actually very strong on this one. Okay. Oh, Paul's got to go. Sorry, Paul. I know. All right. All right, here we go. Lip. The Lip calls this as Oro Azul. Oro Azul Reposado. Where am I? Ugh! I didn't think it was Oro Azul, actually, but there was nothing else I could think of. What I really wanted to say was Sentinella, and I know it's not Sentinella. All right. If it's not Oro Azul, is it Sentinella? <laughs> what is it? Is it Sentinella? Ugh! Ugh! It's a repo. It's a Highlands repo. What is it? Fina? It's not Fina. Fina doesn't have that much wood in it. 
Uh, it's not Fina, is it? I'll just say it. It's not Fina. I know it's not Fina. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't think it was Fina. All right. Um, Gabe, have I had this? I need some hints. Come on, give me some hints. Hey, Darth. All right, so I'm in the repo. I'm trying to guess the brand of the repo. Gabe, Gabe, you've you've tasted it. Oh, it might be Don Valente. It might be Don Valente, which I'm really not familiar with. But it's from 2006. Uh, it might be Don Valente. Because I haven't tasted that yet. Gabe, you gave me some of that. And I have... Can you believe it? I, I actually haven't tasted it. So, Gabe, give me a hint. Or anybody, give me a hint. Uh, Kinto says go on to the next one. I could, but, you know. Uh, anybody? What? 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 <laughs> Don Filano. Get out of here. Uh... All right, so look, I'm going to ask... Uh, here, Here's the thing. This is fun. I'll, I'll ask Gabe for my hints, or I'll ask Gabe for the for the answer. So, Gabe, um, Gabe, give me one more hint, and then I'm going to ask you for the answer. Because I want to go... Give me a clue. Yeah, you because know, I'm, I'm going to go down the line here. I don't want to come back. Follow the pancas. Come on! What is this? This is, uh... <laughs> this is Santa Legua's, uh, repo. <laughs> No, ah, this is Santa Legua's repo? God, it could be, it could be. Oh man, you know, when Dave Grapshi was here the other week, that Santa Legua's repo was probably my favorite uh, tequila of the night, aside from like getting into the, uh, but, but for Añejo, Repo, and Blanco, wow. Uh, unbelievable. All right. So that was Santa Legos Repo, ladies and gentlemen. Let me clear my palate. It's a whole Santa Legos evening. What's this going to be, Dantanio? Yeah, I have whatever that XA is, I want a little bit of it. Now she's gone, 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 and I don't worry. Cause I'm sitting on top of the world. Alright, let me taste this Añejo. This Añejo really starts bringing something... What you didn't go see the leg was the whole way up the line, did you, Gabe? If you told me this was... Oh, man, I got a little mezcal. I got a little smoke. I just got some smoke in the nose. Now, there's a lot more wood. Wood has been introduced... Oh yeah, we got some wood introduction. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is check to see if I can identify any Sierra Leguas in there. Now, have we decided that these are all Highlands? <laughs> My palate has gone a little, just a, just a hair south. Uh, we have, they're all, all right, they're all Highland, all right. Because I'm telling you, I'm sorry, that Añejo is getting a little more um, robusto, a little more robusto. I'm losing some of the Highlands flavor there.
All right, the first thing I'm going to do is rule out Sentinella on this uh, Añejo. This is not Sentinella. It's got more alcohol, and it doesn't have that Sentinella kind of bitterness. I, you know, I hope you guys aren't snickering. Giving the lipster a lashing. Shut up! You like the bitter, do you? Well, it ain't Siete Legs. There's no way that's Siete Legs. There's no way. No way. I don't know. I don't even remember. Is Don Valente uh, Highlands? I, I don't even know if I've ever had Don Valente in Yeho. <laughs> 77 says you still can get 50%. Which do you like better? Santa Legs Repo or this Uneo? Now, Gabe, that is a great question. Thank you for asking because I'm going to tell you something. I think I know exactly where I'm going to go with that. Uh, Pedro's disappointed in my prowess. Sorry, buddy. How do you think I feel? You know, I hate this. My palate is going. I want to try to trust and remember my initial impressions. There's a lesson in here for all of you blind tasters. Because my palate is getting soggier and soggier. I'm not making excuses, but the truth is, it's getting really difficult to tell now. You know, my my lips are getting numb. It's getting a lot harder to to. Um, it's getting a lot harder to distinguish, um, like the flavor profiles. But when Gabe just said, "What do you like better, that repo?" Lippy, if you, if you, one of these days, if you keep practicing, you get shut up, witchy. All right, hold on. Punch is saying, you're better than this, Lippy. Come on, you're better than this. I'm just a Lippy. We're leaving. This is the last time we watch this show. No, oh, don't leave me, guys. The lip, the stick with the lip. The lip, the lip has the way. The lip is, the lip is the shining path. <clears throat> All right, I'm going back to this Sierra Leguas repo for me. Hmm. It's a little hot. You know, it's a funny thing. Here's a funny thing. If I look at everything I've tasted, of course, not not counting the XA. If you look at the Blanco and the Repo in the middle and the and the Añejo, I have completely dr drunk most of the Repo. I, I think Repo is the one I like the most. Oh, totally it's gotta go. I know totally, I know I'm taking a long time. Uh, but I really wanna get this right. All right. So, Gabe asked me, do you like the, that Sierra Leguas Repo or, or the Añejo better? Gabe, I'm going to give you your answer right now in a second. Hey man, I don't know. I was prepared to like the repo better, but I gotta say that añejo has a really nice balance. All right, here we are. We're at the añejo. The lip is gonna call the brand. This is a Highlands añejo. It is not Sentinella. Can I get a yes or no that it's not Sentinella? Tell me. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Highlands. I know. Is it Sentinella? All right. I knew it wasn't. I know. All right. I'm also going to say it is not 
Siete Leguas. Tell me it's not. It's not said it's not Siete Leguas. What is it? Siete Leguas? Shut the fuck up! Come on, you guys are killing me! Uh, you mean that this is Siete Leguas Añejo? Come on, you guys, you're killing me! And you said you liked the repo when I asked you the other day. Yeah, I, I did, I, you know? It's Etiqueta Negra. What is that? What is that, Gabe? It's a Mexican bottling of that black Añejo? It's black? I, um, yeah, right. It, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Dave Grapshi was talking about this. It's a black... They don't make it anymore, first of all. So that's real interesting. And which did I say? Did I commit to which one I like better? I didn't originally like this black black horse. It's maybe eight or ten years old, really? You know, all right. You know, I'm not I'm not backpedaling. I said I loved every one of these, but if I had to, ch you know, I don't know, man. If I had to choose, I like it. Oh, that's definitely Cedar Lake was black horse. Hey, man, I never tasted that. So what do you want from me? All right. In on the sweet surround. Look at that crazy clown. Look out. Uh, yeah, what about bottle conditioning? I don't know. So it's, um, oh, wait a minute. You're saying it's a repo? No, it's a yeah. It's a yeah. All right. I know he's calling. Let, let me get to the XA here. Oh, this is D'Antonio, absolutely. Oh, it's completely D'Antonio. I'm kidding, I have not committed yet. But now, obviously, I see a family here. You're gonna tell me it's Mexican bottling of uh, D'Antonio? Living this still. You know, I don't even think I've tasted this XA this whole time. Hold on. Old times. Old times were good times. I need a lifeline. I need a lifeline, but the lip, the lip's going to commit. Zen Runner, you got it. It's uh, it's actually The Who. From uh, Who's Next? This was an unreleased track from like 1971. Alright. Well, Gabe, I've been tasting. 
All right, here's my feeling. Now, I have to say, I'm a little influenced by everything has been said a Leguas. Of course, I wish I had a glass of D'Antonio right next to me. Of course, I wish. So, does this taste? Tell us about the tequila you're drinking. The old guys, all right. Let me tell you about, that's a great way to proceed. Let me tell you about the tequila I'm drinking. Let me wash my palate for a second. All right. Is everybody ready? I'm going to taste this tequila with the way I've been trained by my uh, tequila rabbis. And that includes uh, all like every one of you. You know what I mean? You're all my rabbis. Even the mighty Larubis. Try to say especially the mighty Larubis. Well, here's something. You know, I'm tasting agave. I'm smelling agave right in the center of the nose. There are very few XAs that will give me that. And D'Antonio is one of them. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm leaning toward that for a million reasons. I'd be a fucking fool not to. It's giving me a spice. It's giving me floral. It's giving me a lot of oak. All right, Highlands. I know it's Highlands. I called them all as Highlands. Is it? Is it suddenly El Tesoro's seventieth anniversary? Maybe. It's a trap. I don't think it's Dantanya. I don't think it is. I'm not going to commit to that yet, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Um, is it like Excelencia? It doesn't have that Carlos Camarena feel to it, to tell you the truth. It's got some caramel in it, uh, not a thick, smooth caramel finish. It's a little lighter than that. Oh. I first heard this from uh, Rick Von Schmidt. He lives in Cambridge. Did you like that focus? Baby, let me follow you down. Rick's a blues guitar player. I met him one day in the... All right, here we go. Here we go. Green Pastures of uh, uh, Cambridge University. University. Let me follow you down. All right, all right, all right. You want to know? You want to know? Gabe, is it Dantanya? I say it's Dantanya. It's not El Tesoro 70th. Let 
Follow you down Oh baby let me follow you down But I do anything in this god almighty world And it just let me follow you down Woo! The lip! The lip got one! I gotta be worth it for that! I need something! Hey, I wanna tell you guys in the chat who think this is so easy. I think next time, the lip is gonna do a remote broadcast from one of your houses. And then we're gonna get all the fans to to send in their blind minis on something you have absolutely tasted. The lip got another one now. Now I'm going to tell you something. That was not a guess. Uh, my reward is a mini of Sierra Leguas. Yes, thank you, Gabe, because uh, I would like to taste it again. Uh, come on. Come on over. I know how much you like. Yeah, Great Danes. Did we talk about Great Danes? Yeah, you put those Great Danes out in the truck, buddy boy. Uh, now listen. Uh, people, what an amazing show. I have to thank my buddy Gabe. The mighty Gabe with the mighty palate. It was an amazing time. I got three out of four wrong, but I got one out of four right. I got five out of eight questions. Right. The lip is still, you know, I'm pretty much holding steady there. Uh, Gabe, leave it to you. You have you have mixed it up. You've raised the bar on what the minis should be and how you can stump the lip and uh, where the lip needs to be stumbled upon. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, these are my final thoughts. Um, what did you like or not like? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Gabe, see, leave it to Gabe. So I can't really rate these. Um, what what were the things that were speaking to me the most? That repo spoke to me very highly. The, the Blanco, the Blanco. The Blanco immediately grabbed me. I thought the Blanco from a, from a, uh, from a standing start, from a, from a naked palate, that Blanco grabbed me and I dug it. When I tasted it against basic American Siete Leguas, I saw that, uh, that there might be a fuller taste in the American version. But very different. And I like the Highlands floral. Very El Tesoro. Very, very, very uh, Camarena tasting on the Mexican. Um, the Añejo, what I call it, that you know, it's a very thin, there's a very thin mouth feel on these. The I'm still getting the uh, a finish. Excuse me, on this. Uh, ooh, I got one of those beautiful, hmm, I got one of those beautiful burps. We got a beautiful Siete Leguas burp. Um, uh, I would say uh, in order, it would probably go... Uh, I, I don't even know if I can... What, what's the weakest? The weakest. The funny thing was that I thought the Añejo was the weakest starting out. And then as my palate progressed, which is what most of us would do in the course of an evening, after having one, two, three, maybe after two or three drinks, the Añejo starts to really speak to me because the subtleties of the flavor got lost. Now, I don't know if that's fair or not. Is that, you know, I found the Añejo to be light, but good. Yes, Gabe, that, so this is what, kind of what I'm saying is like, um, what happens, you know, after you're drinking for a while? I mean, I mean, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the beginning of a drinking session? You know that only lasts like this long, unfortunately. Sometimes I wish my palate were so clean, but you're certainly not going to spit out in the beginning of a tasting session. At the as as the session progresses, you know. You start looking for other things. Man, man, that is a very tasty Blanco. The Dantanio was great. It was great from the beginning. I could tell it was super rich and thick, but but not over oaked, and you can taste the the agave in the middle of it. It's outrageous. I found the oh same thing. Okay, so do you guys want to do an after show? Should we do that tonight? Should we should we say lip? Uh, we've been here long enough. You had a good time. You know, don't don't torture us anymore. I think this has been a great show, my friends. Thank you for coming. Wow, I have I have found my inner siete. Uh, Gabe, thank you so much for for bringing out the siete leguas horizontal because. Uh, 
when am, when is when am I ever going to taste something like this? I knew from the start that every one of these was great. I knew it, and they were. I mean, when I smelled them, I said yes, 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 yes. Like every one, I I, I knew I wanted to drink them. Siete Leguas, I love you even more. Um, you know, I had Dave Grapshi, who is the Siete Leguas uh, ambassador for the U.S. I think it's time we we have to get um, the owner, or I have to go to Siete Leguas. I think. And I, 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 we have, we've, we've got to get um, uh, the owner on the show here to talk to all of us. And I think that's the next step. But barring all that, it's been a great night. Thank you. You know, I want you to always channel your inner whisperer. I want you to be just like me. Good night, my friends. Take this knowledge. Enter it. Love it constrict it and conform it into your inner life this is the lifestyle and the tequila you need to be bringing with you as you progress on your journey always trust your inner whisperer power to the whisperer <laughs>